guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. We are at a point to where we're still decorating outside. And I've got a little short episode today. I had a really, really long recording session for Feed the Beast. And um, I'm running a little late on Hermitcraft. So I did want to do an episode for you guys. And I've been having a plan to do a jacuzzi. So I marked out a little area. Um, the FTB episode, like I said, was really, really long. It took me a long time to record it. So fortunately, um, I still have time to do an episode for Hermitcraft. I got some stuff in real life to do today. I'm planning to go see a friend that I haven't seen in a long time, and we're going to cook some venison. Uh, for those of you that don't know, venison is deer. It's uh, We got a roast that we're going to cook. He's been having this for a long time. And I am very, very excited to take a taste of it because it's a delicacy here in South Louisiana. Um, let's see, we are looking at six. We need one more. So I've been noticing in the comments, guys, there's quite a few people from Louisiana that has been chiming in. And I just want to say, howdy, y'all. <laughs> it's, it's very, very cool to see some Southerners uh, here, as it is just everyone else. But... It's it's so surreal when when you see people that's local and they they name towns that are next to you and stuff like that that say hey I'm from here hey I'm from there it's just so cool um, but anyway you guys have been so great in the comments telling me all sorts of um, compliments and just giving me ideas for stuff I cannot tell y'all how much I appreciate it so this design that I'm doing for an uh, a jacuzzi and jacuzzi a jacuzzi is something that I played around with a long time ago for my uh, my Minecraft Indoor series, and it's a really, really good design. So let's see, we are two from the bottom, we need to go one more. I kind of prepped this area, as y'all can tell. I just wanted to make sure that I had all of the proper um, measurements before I did it, because it's been a long time since I did. So what I need here are some dark oak logs. I think, you know what, now that I think about it, I might be able to use acacia wood instead due to the fact that it is going to be a sharper color in this resource pack i was using i always use dark oak wood for the bottom but now that i think about it the acacia is going to look better in fateful 32 hello mr sheep are you guarding the chest thank you i appreciate it uh yeah we'll use these acacia logs i need nine uh let's just bring them off for now we can always get some more if we need, but I don't think uh, I don't think we'll need more than nine. Look at this stupid griefing Enderman man. I'm so happy with the jacuzzi too, y'all, and I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. Uh, let's see. Let's take the acacia wood, and what we'll do is hollow out this bottom section here with acacia, and this is gonna be like almost like the warming coils at the bottom of a. Um, at the bottom of a jacuzzi. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so darn uh, tongue-tied today. And I want to do... I think I can go one more down here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I want to take a couple of blocks down so that I can put a bucket of lava down here for the sound effects. Um, I think the lava is a really cool sound effect when you have it just like bubbling and stuff when you're in a jacuzzi. So it'll be good. Let me see if I have any lava on me. I really, really doubt that I do. Um, but it doesn't hurt to check. I do have a bucket that's a good start. I'll put this fence up for now. Do I have any lava? You know what? I do not. Let's go to the nether right quick and get some. It will just be a short walk. So yeah, guys, this FTB episode, this this will probably come out the same day as the FTB episode, but I've been doing blood magic, and uh, man, we had some catastrophes on there. It was really, really, really... Um, <laughs> it was long-winded. I am going the wrong way down here. Also, it's about time that I go pay Carol a visit, but I'm not going to quite do that today. Um, she and I have been talking a little bit, and I, I think we need to spend maybe a little bit more time together to, um, to get to know each other, you know? <laughs> so let's see. Let me go here, and what would be the easiest way to find lava here, I wonder? 
I'm thinking that I should probably just go to maybe down here. This looks like something that someone put together. Maybe just down here. I think this will probably be eventually lead me to lava of some sort. Um, maybe? I don't see any lava right offhand here. Hmm. Maybe this was a poor choice of location to go to, because I don't see any down here either. Um, there is some torchlight right here, so I can probably find my way back. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and take these stairs down. And I'll go further in a little bit and try to find some lava. It's always so scary getting lost over here because I really don't pay attention to where I'm going usually. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, look at the hoppers. That's crazy, man. I don't know whose stuff this is. Okay, let's just pillar across right here. And maybe I can grab that lava source right there. That's what I'm hoping for at least. Um, lava source, I don't see it. Huh, I don't see that lava source, y'all. Wasn't it like right here? Let's go ahead and dig a little bit of this up. Okay, maybe I should take a second look at it to find out exactly where it was. Um, we go back here. I gotta be careful not to fall too. Okay, so it seems like it's like only a few down. It would probably be around here. I was digging totally at the wrong spot just a second ago. Ah, there it is. There you are, baby. I just need to grab some of your, your heat magic. There. So we should be able to take this bucket and grab that lava source. There it is. Cool. We also need to eat for a starve. I am running low on chicken. I'm going to have to go get some more now that I think about it. All right. Let's see if we can find our way out of here again. It shouldn't be that, that bad. It seems like it was right up here. I know I could see that from the, the entrance, so to speak. Uh, pillar up right there. And I should just be... Ooh, I don't like that sound. I am not exactly in the best armor, as you can see. But... Okay. Are we good? Put out this little fire. So the stairs, there's the stairs up, I believe. This is where the torches are. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that wasn't too bad. You know, I always forget to bring something to mark my path with usually. Uh, let's see, how did, how does one escape from this? Was this the area? Ah, okay, all right. I was getting lost for a minute there. So yeah, I usually end up finding quartz to mine. And then once I find some quartz, I start making quartz blocks and that serves as my markers. Okay, we are good now. So back to the jacuzzi work at hand. This is all for a sound effect, by the way. It seems kind of wasteful, but it, uh, it really does create ambience. And the good thing about doing a project like this is once you finish with it, it's done, you know, and you can enjoy it for... Uh, the rest of the deal. I like how um, they named this street Zombie Crescent. <laughs> uh, it's really, really fun that, uh, or this street as Zombie Crescent. It's really, really fun with the street names and stuff. I think that's a really good deal. And I love what Asuma is doing with all of the, the station names from his subscribers and stuff. That's really, really neat. I think I'm going to start naming some stuff too um, after you guys because y'all do so, so much for me. It, it really is... Uh, ooh, I got mail. Um, I need to set this up to where I can check. Let's see. Oh, nine underground. I did read that already, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's check out the Herald. 
New Hermiton under surveillance. Are you safe in your own bases? New evidence coming to light would suggest that you are not. Satellite surveillance images have been leaked that show bases of the majority of hermits are under constant observation. What nefarious plans is the perpetrator considering? Is this going to become Big Brother or even Big Sister, telling hermits how to live their lives? I for one love and accept our new creepy overlord and will be an honest and loyal follower until you die. What? Of course, at the end of my point, you may end up my loyal and honest followers, so really, turn about is fair play. Hermitcraft Diamond Exchange. In need for diamond tools? Only have one or two diamonds? Well, iJevin has you covered. The Diamond Exchange has different deals weekly. For the best gear, you can find the Diamond Exchange in front of the business district of New Hermiton. P.S. Mention you saw this ad and get a free reward. iJevin, CEO of Hermitcraft Diamond Exchange. Zombie Jail. Private... <laughs> Private detective DMAC has expanded on his law enforcement activities and has built what he terms a zombie jail. But what this paper believes is a cruel and inhumane zombie grinder, using the aggressive constructs known as iron golems to work as instruments in his evil. The zombies in this town are feeling hard pressed with this ever continuing abuse. The tube, New Hermiton, has a new underground built by Asuma, and the fast travel method around town it is a work of art all hermits are rightly impressed with the feat of engineering a new food establishment faux shizzle <laughs> is being built underneath the streets to match this new underground aesthetic uh that is reference to slips pho restaurant that he did um i have been craving to, to try this stuff now dear hermit underground has been open the service is free of charge and may Give to many destinations around Hermiton 1.7 area as well as connecting to Slipgator and TFC space. PTO for more info. Uh, when using the rail system, you should use your own cart and remove it after use. Never leave a cart on the track. When you're at your station, please remove the cart and unpowered rail and press that button to go in the direction. Uh, each station has its torch showing the destinations available. Go right, move down the track. Go left to move it up. This applies to every station on the track. Enjoy your travels. Awesome. Very, very glad about that. I'm gonna, uh, actually, I'm going to take these. I'm gonna just put some dirt in here for now. Actually, dirt is valuable. I'm gonna put zombie flesh in here. That way if zombie Cleo passes by and she needs some, it'll be available for her. All right. On to the mission at hand. Let us sleep because it is becoming dark. And I'm sorry if I'm just rambling on in this episode, guys. It's just been a very, very uh, long couple days <laughs> with all the, the recording fiascos. But we shall get down to the nitty gritty of the episode. Finally, I have strung you along long enough. Okay, so this is pretty much ready to go. I should just be able to add my bucket of lava and... I should not catch fire if, let's see, that does not do what I want it to do. Actually, I need to enclose this just a little bit more. Uh, let's see, let's bring it up from here. All right, so I need to block that off. There we go. And just knock these two out again. Okay, so if I put lava right here, it is going to make that bubbling sound for us. And now we can actually... I was supposed to make a redstone block. it! Let me do that right quick. Hopefully it doesn't burn the acacia before I cover it up. But it shouldn't. I always question myself when it comes to the mechanics of all of this. Uh, let's put the dirt up for now too. So we'll do... A redstone block. Actually I should have a redstone block somewhere. Again with the organization, man. Uh, redstone block. I suppose I do not. Okay, fair enough. Let's just make one. Boom. All right, redstone block it is. That way I can cover it up with this lamp. And we should be good. I'm leaving all my doors open and stuff. I gotta be careful. Okay, yep, so apparently this will not burn. That's good. We'll go ahead and place the lamp in now. There we go. And now we're going to knock out this section here. And we're going to use 
Dork Oak Wood Stairs, actually. I didn't mean to do that. We'll knock out this one. Okay, so now we're going to use Dark Oak Wood Stairs. And let's see. Actually, this needs to be one higher, I believe. Hmm. All right, sorry about that. A little interruption. Um, okay, so Dark Oak Wood Stairs will go around this section. Like so. Might as well put them on the outside, too. And... Just like this, and this is going to create the inside, okay? Now what we'll do is we're going to add item frames uh, wherever they're at. There we go. And this is basically going to act like jets. Actually, I need to do water first. Let's go ahead and grab some water. I hope I don't mess up my pool flow by doing this, but I shouldn't. Nope. Cool. Okay. We'll just grab a few more of these buckets like that. And the cool thing about item frames is they actually work underwater. So you can still see them. There we go. So the item frames are there. We have no more flow. It's good. Okay. So we'll add the rest of the item frames here. Also, you can put two item frames in the same space, and I seem to have undershot the amount that I needed. Let's go make a few more. I have plenty of sticks and leather, so that shouldn't be a thing. Let's see, do I actually have any sticks without making them? Nah, let's just make some right quick. I do have a few. Um, yeah, let's just make some more. So we'll take these dark oak and just make some sticks right quick. 15. Actually, I need one more freaking stick. Man. Okay, sticks. And now we'll surround that, put some leather in, and we should be all good. No. <laughs> oh my god, I'm derping so hard today, y'all. One more. Perfect. All right, now we have enough item frames to do what we need to do. I don't think this game would be the same without inventory management, y'all. I really do. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, okay. Item frames, boom, boom, and boom. Okay, now I've got some dispensers and some droppers and stuff to emulate jets. And I'm, I started thinking the droppers work just fine, actually. But I unfortunately had already made the bows for the dispensers and I did not want them clogging my inventory. Um, of course, I forgot about that too. So that shouldn't be hard. Let's make a few more droppers. And let's see, we got the cobblestone already. We got the redstone already. That should be good. Okay. And I believe it's just redstone at the bottom like that. Cool. Three more. That'll work. All right. Speaking of which, now that some of the new series is... I've taken on so many new series at one time with Pixelmon and this and FTB. I think it's almost getting to the point to where I can invest time back into to my, um, my series indoors. So I think it'll be really, really cool once I get it um, working. Okay, so I need to replace these with oak. Regular oak wood. And this is going to create like just a little line effect. But yeah, I'm going to get back to my indoor series where I do a lot of decorating and show stuff off. And it's uh, it's really, really fun. It's, it's almost just like a show off deal unless it's something that's on camera build worthy, you know. All right. So now we got oak wood. We can probably just make uh, 48 should do actually. So let's take that. And we'll surround this. This is going to give it just a warm look. And these are going to be the color patterns that I use in the basement as well. Most likely. That is going to be a relatively large project. And I was going to work on it today if I wouldn't have ran so far behind on it on FTP. Okay. So now we can get the stairs back. And run that over like so. And we should 
have the jacuzzi pretty much ready to go after this. So this is almost going to be like a seating area, just slash, um, not pit, but for lack of better words. There we go, and that is the jacuzzi setup, you guys. I am going to take a couple of these out and put some glowstone in them, just to add extra lighting. So, um, I'm also thinking that I may just want to do uh, redstone lamps. I think it'll look a little bit better. Let's see. Also, do we have any food, man? Get a couple of something to eat here. I don't think I have any without running to town and get some chicken. Uh, I'm not eating zombie flesh, that's for sure. We're not that poor. Okay, we do have a few apples. Tasty morsels, that ought to work good. Uh, we also have a carrot. I probably need to start a little garden. Something aesthetic though. <laughs> uh, there we go. Alright. So now I got lamps. I should just probably make a few more redstone blocks. I know a lot of you are like, why not just use levers? Well, I get plenty of redstone and I don't use it for many other applications. So honestly, it's fine. Okay. I know it might be a waste, but it works. It works. It works. Okay. So I can probably go with, uh, let's just do the bottom with it. You know, let's just knock this out and then place the redstone here and then place the lamp where are my lamps there we go we'll place the lamp right on top there we go that's perfect we'll do that again right here on all four sides uh. one more after this one or it's like hard to concentrate <laughs> all right beautiful that is the layout you guys and I think that it would be I, I could venture to say that this can be stretched out now with the half slabs of course I don't have enough slabs let's go ahead and do some more smooth stone slabs I should have some smooth stone or the slabs just ready to go although I may be lying to you as well. Not on purpose, but... <laughs> okay, I have a few right there. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Alright. Close this up. And now I can take this dirt and just kind of trim around here. And I'm thinking about the patio layout, but I think besides the little garden that I just talked about, uh, that's possibly going to be the absolute last thing that goes into the yard outside of just landscaping stuff. So, really and truly, y'all, it is coming to fruition. Uh, sooner or later, we're going to be able to get the base started. Um, but first, like I said, we definitely have to go with the underground jungle theme for the lookout and the basement. I think that will be the last steps of the house besides some interior decorating um for those areas and a little bit of you know landscaping out here so maybe a little greenhouse someone had suggested in the back would be a good idea kind of for the garden area that way it would still be quite aesthetic and guys i think this is it it's kind of weird how it touches the house like this and it's also kind of weird that it is um only one wide right here but oh overall i like the placement of it and um, it's a really neat design. I like my little jacuzzi. So I am going to chill out right here for the minute, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. <laughs> I need to I need to get at least my my boots off and stuff, right? So I can relax. Let's just put these sticks away and take off my. Yeah, we'll take this off and we'll throw these torches away too. Now I can rest. And get my little. What can, I, what can I put in my hand to drink? I don't have anything to drink. I'm going to do my apple. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Again, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Sorry the episode was a little short. Uh, if it even was, I don't know yet. But uh, I appreciate it as always. This is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.